Welcome to OMG Reviews. I am Dean Bisundial. The Ministry of Tourism, Culture and the Arts put together a theatre production last week called Junction Village, featuring a bunch of young actors and the work of deceased playwright Douglas Archibald. This production was also free to the public. The Ministry said this production was all part of Trinidad and Tobago's 60 years of independence celebrations. I must confess, I have never seen a National Theatre Arts Company production and was unsure if it would impress. So, I braced myself. The vast Lord Kitchener Auditorium was packed to capacity. Or as we trainees say, it was ram out. Napa looked its majestic best and the water fountain sparkled around the incredible structure. We also met up with local theatre royalties Cecilia Salazar and Susan Hannes Abraham who were present to support their fellow actors. The central theme of Junction Village was death, yet oddly enough it was a rip-roaring comedy. The main story deals with two girls preparing for the wake of their soon-to-be-deceased grandmother. Granny has been knocking on death's door more times than anyone cares to remember. But this time, they were sure this was it. Naturally, many of the colorful inhabitants of Junction Village stopped by to pay their last respects. This made for a lively interaction, full of jokes and good old-fashioned pecan. <laughs> The production itself was excellent. It was set inside the living room of an old wooden house, complete with coquille broom, enamel wares, and that one picture of Jesus Christ above the door frame we all had. You know the one I'm talking about? As those curtains opened, the stage transported you to a simpler and happier time in Trinidad and Tobago. As for the acting, I was pleasantly surprised at the talent on stage from these relatively young actors. They did an excellent job in their various portrayals. Uncle Bobo, played by the incredibly talented veteran actor Arnold Goindon, was a riot with his quick wit and readiness to tango with the ladies. And not forgetting, he was just there to wet his throat with some rum. In my opinion, the only critique of this great production was the storyline of Junction Village. There were one or two plot holes, and while the play dealt with themes of death, community, and a generational divide, I felt like there were no resolution to the conflicts. The performance ended abruptly and left me searching for some answers. That said, however, the curtain call was nothing short of spectacular, with the cast appearing on stage in full chorus of a tribal chant and accompanied by pulsating percussions on African drums and a thunderous applause from the appreciative audience. After the show, I overheard some people talking about how exciting it was and how much they enjoyed it. One woman also said she wished there were more productions like these so she could expose her children to more of these experiences. And I couldn't agree more. All in all, we give Junction Village a 4 out of 5 OMGs. So that's it. Thank you for joining us on OMG Reviews. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, please like, share, and subscribe to OMG Socials on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. Oh, and check out OMG Hits Radio on Apple Music and TuneIn Radio, or just search OMG Hits Radio to listen to today's biggest hits. That's it for now. I'm Dean Bisundial. See you next time. Hello.